Welcome back, everybody. This is Troy Fullwood with Pinnacle Investments and The Thriving Investor. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't had a chance to, you know, like our videos, uh, comment on our videos, hey, take some time to do so. We really appreciate the feedback. Really love working with all you guys, and they're really enjoying getting your questions answered. So let's jump right into this with today's question. It says, um, dun, 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 dun. Um, if a call went to voicemail, was would you leave a message for the seller? If a call goes to voicemail, would I leave a message for the seller? Yes, I would. And I would leave a message that sounds like this. Hello, Mr. Smith, this is Troy Fullwood with Pinnacle Investments. I was giving you a call to talk to you about an opportunity. Would you please give me a call back at 480-831-5067? Thank you. And I would hang it up and I would go forward from there. Now, why would I be vague about my message? Well, it's really simple. I want to be vague or somewhat vague about my message because I want the seller to call me back. I want curiosity to kick in, okay? If I leave them a message of, hello, Mr. Smith, this is Troy Fold with Pinnacle Investments. I want to talk to you about possibly purchasing the note that you have at 111 Elm Street in Charleston, Carolina. Well, he may automatically in his mind say, I'm not interested in selling. I'm not calling Troy back. I don't want that. I want him to call me back so that I can have a conversation with him and discuss what type of possibilities exist in purchasing his note. We can purchase it as a full purchase. We could purchase it as a partial, so it operates like an annuity for him. We could do a split partial where we split the payment and I take a portion of the payment. He takes a portion of the payment every month, so it doesn't necessarily cut off his entire cash flow. I might be dealing with a seller whose idea is that every note that's purchased in the marketplace comes only gets purchased when it has a huge discount associated with it. Well, that's not true either. So he may have some preconceived ideas that I'll learn about when I talk to him on the phone. Okay, that's why I want him to call me back. Pretty simple, right? Now, going on to the next part of this question, how many attempts um, do would you make to reach a party? Well, really simple. I wouldn't call him daily. Okay, nobody wants to be called daily. I don't want to be called daily. You don't like being called daily, and neither does the seller. So what I would do is I would put them in a rotation, meaning if I'm making phone calls or somebody on my team is making phone calls or my VA is making phone calls for me, I would take, let's say that they're making 50 calls a day, okay, whether it's through an auto dialer, which actually can do a lot more, or whether they're hand entering in the information or they're using some kind of system. Let's just say 50 calls a day. And you start with 50 fresh leads on a Monday, the 1st of December. Well, that being case, that person's gonna call those 50 calls. Whoever they talk to, they'll take notes, they'll take fill out mortgage worksheets. The other, say, 40 or 45 people that they don't talk to, leave a message. Watch them call back over the course of the week. Whoever they don't talk to over the course of the week, I would call them the next Monday. Okay? So you might start with 50 on the first Monday, and by the next Monday, maybe you've talked to 20 of those people, and now you're down to 30 that you haven't talked to. I would call those 30 again, and I would keep that going. Now I would add another 50 fresh to the second Monday, so I'm actually calling 50 plus 30, which equals 80 calls. Now you may not get through 80 calls. That's a lot of calls for one person in one day. No doubt about it, especially if you're talking to people. But that's the whole point. You want to be talking to people, right? So if you don't get through 50 phone calls in a day, no big deal. As long as you're talking to people, that's the most important part of the equation. Because if you can talk to people, you can find out what they need and then you can provide that value to them in the form of purchasing their note to help them accomplish their biggest goal, which is their why. All right, that's what I would do. By the way, this is Troy Fullwood, Pinnacle Investments. 
the founder of Pinnacle Investments and the Thriving Investor. Hey, give us a big thumbs up. Give us some great comments down below. Feel free to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your associates. With that being said, have a great day. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye now.